Hi guys and welcome to 123MyT's video on how to modify the AMD BIOS timing settings. Okay guys, so you've gone ahead and you've built your beast of a mining rig and now you want to try and get the most performance out of your graphics card. So as you can see on the crack in here, we've got eight graphics cards uh, in slot two RX uh, 570s down the bottom, one, two, three, four, five across the top and a, a GTX 1070 on the end there. But the good thing about these AMD cards and why a lot of miners like them is there's a BIOS setting, a little chip that contains all the settings for the card on each one of the cards and you can actually change those settings uh, to give you better performance. So I'm going to show you now how to do a stock, uh, it's called a one-click BIOS uh, upgrade for your, for your RX 570 cards and uh, this works on other cards as well but uh, I know it definitely works on the 570s what we're actually going to do here is just make the card, we're not actually overclocking or underclocking with power we're actually just going to make each card more efficient in the way that it solves its calculations okay so this will take a stock standard RX 570 which does roughly about 20 mega hashes and it will bump it straight away it will bump the 20 mega hashes right up to 20, at least 25 mega hashes per card. So that's a really big performance increase and that's without burning any more electricity so you pretty much, if you're going into mining you pretty much need to know how to, how to, how to do these BIOS modifications. Okay guys so let's get started. So you'll need a few things uh, first before you can go ahead and start to modify your BIOS. So first of all, you you will need a BIOS for your um, your RX 570, or you can try this on other models, uh, probably on the um, uh, 470, 480s, uh, any of the AMD cards. This should work okay. You're actually just changing the BIOS strappings and timings. You're not actually overclocking or underclocking, so it's a pretty safe way of of modifying your BIOS. Okay, so the first first things first. If you head over to the 123myit.com website and under the downloads link, if you click on there, all right, and if you scroll down to where it says BIOS Mod Tools, and if you download yourself a copy of GPU Z Power Up, um, and then run that and install it, and then you'll also need this copy of the BIOS uh, Editor Master Zip. Okay, this is a new part that I've added in here, um, which is uh, which we're going to use the one click. Uh, BIOS modification on okay, so I've already gone ahead and saved our BIOS modification software here So we just want to extract it extract all Just pop it on the desktop if you need your BIOS now I've done a video if, uh, already on how to um, save off your BIOS your original BIOS um, Off your card, but uh, if you download and install GPU Z, which is this uh, program here and It'll have your graphics card now. I've, I'm just running on my Mac at the moment, so um, uh, it just it just tells me I've got an Intel graphics card. So this isn't a, is an AMD. But in your case, if you had an AMD card, it would say AMD card here. And then you just want to click this button here to save the BIOS off, and you go save the file to. All right, it can't do it for this one, but uh, it will just say where do you want to save it. You say save it to the desktop, and here it is. So that's how we that's how we get our original BIOS, and we're going to modify the strappings on that BIOS there, uh, and then save it back to our graphics card. Okay, so let's go back into our folder here that we've got master folder, and we're just going to run this Polaris BIOS editor exe. All right, just hit yes. It's going to do that little bit there. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to open our BIOS. Okay, we're going to select it from the desktop. Alright, and we're going to then click this button down the bottom, one click timing patch. Okay, it says, okay, it's found our memory. Okay, it's found our memory. Now, it might not necessarily say the right memory, but don't worry, it's it's doing all the timings for you. So, I don't know if you guys see, if you if you have a look on YouTube, you'll see other guys. Uh, there is a different BIOS way to do this. You can actually go in and change these timings yourself. Uh, to be honest, I find it a bit, not hard, but how are you meant to know where the which strappings are meant to go where for your card? Um, this is this uh, this BIOS editor makes it really easy because it it kind of does it for you. All right. So once you do that, you can then go save as, and then we're going to save our new BIOS. Okay. So let's just call it. We'll call it the same thing, but at the end instead of original, we'll call it modified.
bang okay all right and look at that we've now got our uh, original original BIOS here and right beside it there we've got our uh, modified BIOS okay so uh, to save it back you would use another tool so if you go back to the 123 MyOT downloads tool uh, and we've got our ATI flash here so you go ahead and download that and also you might want to download the ATI patcher save as again desktop download the ATMI flasher download save as bang 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 okay okay guys so once you've got your modified BIOS you then need to save it back to your card now I've already done one video uh, on my uh, one two three my T channel on YouTube and it's called how to mod uh, Sapphire RX 570G uh, 4 gigabyte LP to BIOS so I've already done the steps but I'm going to uh, just copy and paste essentially the same steps from this video uh, to show you how to then save your BIOS uh, back to your graphics card um, just because it says um, this will actually still work with other graphics cards so uh, you know you give it a try and see how it goes if it doesn't work you can always move back uh, save save your uh, original BIOS back to your card and you're good to go this uh, there's no overclocking or anything with this it's simply changing the strappings and timings um, one word of a warning though if you use your graphics card for gaming still I wouldn't go ahead and change the timings because the timings are more specifically suited just for mining however if you're still using your graphics card for uh, for gaming then just disregard this video altogether because you want to try and keep the same strappings on your uh, video card uh, for your gaming as well. Alright, so I will change it over to the other video now and you can see how to save that uh, modded BIOS back to your AMD card. We're going to go in and we're going to run as administrator on the WinFlash utility. So right click run as administrator. You can see it's picked up our Radeon series card okay so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and load the image and it's going to be the RX 570 image here okay so we've got that one here and then what we do is we just hit program and then that will go ahead and it will um, flash your BIOS with the latest part now the only thing here you need to be aware of is to make sure that you're flashing the right card I would suggest that you remove all other cards uh, from your system and then flash them one at a time and then that way you can't really um, flash the wrong card. Um, now if you wanted to, let's say you wanted to get, grab the BIOS off your card, it's pretty straightforward, it's a very similar way of doing it. Run as administrator again, go yes. Alright now I want to save this current BIOS off there, I'm going to go save. I'm going to put it on my desktop and I'm going to call it just bios.rom bios and I'm going to hit save there. Alright, and as you can see it saved a copy of my bios.rom uh, to my desktop. Okay guys, so I hope this was a helpful video. If it was a helpful video, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.